MLA style is a set of guidelines for how students should format their papers and cite their sources. So let's talk about how to set up your paper. MLA style asks for one inch margins, double spacing throughout your paper, your last name and the page number in the top right corner, a heading with your name, your professor's name, the class number and the date in the top left corner of the first page, the title to be centered between the heading and the beginning of your paper, and finally, your list of works cited needs to be alphabetized, and the entries need to have what's called hanging indentation, which means that every line except the first line in each entry should be indented by half an inch. Now, this sounds like a lot, but it's actually very easy to set up all these aspects of your paper using Microsoft Word 2007, and I'll show you how to do it. To demonstrate, I'm going to pull up this paper, which hasn't yet been formatted. And first, let's talk about margins. So MLA style says that you need one inch margins, and luckily this is the default in Microsoft Word 2007, so you don't need to worry too much about formatting the margins. But if you want to be sure, you can go to Page Layout and click Margins, and as you can see, all of the margins are set to one inch. So now let's talk about spacing. Spacing means the amount of white space between the lines of text, and if you go back to the Home tab, you can use this button to adjust the spacing. So what I'm going to do is highlight all of the text I need to double space and then I'll click this button and I'm going to choose two because I need double spacing. Okay, so we're ready to go with spacing and now I'll show you how to put your name and the page number in the top right corner. So first go to the insert tab and then click on page number, go to top of page, and you want to choose plane number three, which is the one at the top right corner. Now, all you need to do is type your last name and add a space. And now this formatting has been applied to all of the pages. So moving on to the heading and title. For the heading, you need to type your name, your professor's name, your course number, and the date in the top left corner of the page in that order. These elements should be double spaced. And next, type your title. The title should be centered and it should also be double spaced like the rest of the paper, with no additional spaces between the heading and the title or the title and the paper. To center the title, highlight it and then click this button. Okay, now I'll just get rid of the extra space here. And we're ready to move on to our list of works cited. So your list of works cited is where you put the full citations for all of the sources that you cited or referred to in your paper. Notice that the word works is plural. Works is just another name for sources like books or articles, websites or films, as in a work of art or a work of literature. This list needs to be alphabetized, double spaced, and the entries need to have what's called hanging indentation, which means that for each entry, every line other than the first line needs to be indented by half an inch. This sounds complicated, but it's actually very easy to set up using Microsoft Word. So first, we need to make sure that we're at the top of a new page. And we'll center the words, Works Cited. Okay, now let's alphabetize our list. You can do this by highlighting the text you need to alphabetize. and then clicking this button here with the A and Z. You do want to sort by paragraphs, so just click OK. So let's make sure everything turned out all right. OK, it looks like there's a bit of an extra space between the title and the beginning of the list. So I'm going to get rid of that. And the list is already double spaced, so now I just need to do hanging indentation. So to do that, I'm going to, again, have to highlight the text I need to modify. And then I'm going to find this paragraph section in the middle of the Home tab. Click the small arrow next to the word paragraph. Then under Indentation, Special, choose Hanging. And make sure you choose 0.5 inches. Now click OK. And you can see that Microsoft Word has modified the indentation for all of our entries. 
So my list of works cited is now alphabetized, double-spaced, and formatted with hanging indentation. So this element of my paper, along with the rest of my paper, is now formatted according to MLA style. I hope that you've enjoyed this tutorial.